So if you have an image that you have to match up with your model maker data, locate two identifiable coordinates. So in this image, um, we will have, it seems we have grid lines. So you can see that we have uh, values on the grid lines. And in this case, the grid lines are geographical lat long coordinates. So what I'm doing is I'm just basically zooming in to the point where I can see those values sort of clearly on the screen. And to bring in those lat long coordinates, I'm going to use utility electronic data, geographical lat long. And then we have these two tabs here that we're going to use the one that says type data into editor. And then you basically have to match the coordinates as displayed there. So you can see it's, uh, degrees, minutes, and seconds. So this would be the correct option. And um, our central meridian is LO33 because of the 33 there. So we'll just put in a 33 there and make sure our datum is WGS84. And then we'll just say point A and the latitude of this is then that value 19, uh, 27, 36 and the longitude is 33, 20 and we'll use that 12. So that's the left hand, this, this position right there. Okay, and point B is the same latitude value but the longitude is different so that's 33 20 and 24 east and then we say okay and i'll just put it in its own surface or point project so that i can identify it easier and say okay and i'll close that and i'll switch my dtm on and you should see point a b on your screen there so now we need to measure the distance. So I'm going to say F6, go to two points and measure the distance on project two where my two points are. And it shows me it's 350 meters. I'll just copy that. And then I go to my images. I already brought the image in and I make sure it's set to show by ratio. And then we have to work out the correct pixel ratio. So uh, what we need to do is, is give the true distance on the image versus the true distance on the ground. Okay, so let's um, quickly go and work that out. So I'll zoom in to that image and just press F6 again and go to my two point measure tool and go freehand. And as good as you can, try to get your cursor as good as you can on those two points. Now, this works with any two points on your image it could also be a fence line or a property boundary that you know the length of but that's important so we take that length I'll copy it with my control C or you can copy it like that and then we go back to our image tool or go to CAD images and then we press this question mark button and it says the correct distance on image and that should be 350 and the measured distance is that. So this gives us our new ratio. And if I close this now, the image is then resized. So all that's left is for us to position those two grid points onto those AB points. And to do that, I'm going to use uh, F6 again. And I'm going to use this two points function because we have a very special little tool in there and I'll just focus on that grid there and go to freehand and just pick that point and tell it to snap to that point there so what's going to happen is it's going to work out the dy dx difference in this field yeah so it says uh, we have to move to the east so we have to subtract um, that much on the east and we have to subtract this much on the x because x will decrease as we go up 
and east will decrease to the west and we have to move this thing up and to the east so these values are important for our move and I'm just going to use something like notepad or something to uh, help me to record those and copy and paste them quickly and uh, we'll just add a new page there all right so we'll just take that's the easting value and we'll just put a minus in there because we know it needs to go in a negative direction and we'll do the same for the other one for the x oops let's just add that number one there all right so those are my values okay now i'm ready to move the image into position and when you move an image it moves like this so this indicate nine option gives us little red grips on the image don't use the ones on the side in fact you can't while it's set to show by ratio so we can only grab that middle one so we're going to grab it here and because i grabbed it there i can then use my dydx snap mode to find the other coordinate in fact um because we're not moving that point to that coordinate we're just moving it by a relative di um, distance on the y and x we have to use this but if that middle coordinate was known i would have used this option just and typed in or snapped onto point a directly but um, the only way to move the image is to grab it on those grips unfortunately so we have to use this dydx option and then we have to put in our x and our y difference and say so, okay so now the image is in the correct place and you can go around and test it and look at it but it should be fine um, let's switch the triangle sides on it might be a little bit more evident and what I also like to do is um, to set the opacity sometimes if you want to print this just to add this footnote you might want to just change your opacity for printing so um, you'll see that there are only a few factors in here and I found 50 or 25 percent is good for printing because then your design and what you have will pop so I'm just going to switch it to that and um, so working like this I want to see the um, the map in the background and do my design but it's not influencing my eyes too much it's not too bright and if I draw a yellow line it will actually be visible um, but also when I print this it's going to print out beautifully